she comes in and I'm like, uh, Harpo, who this woman? Like, who is Mackenzie? Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Sharon. So today we are going to be reviewing Love Island USA episode 27. So let's get into it. I'm just drinking on some more pre-workout after my workout because, girl, boy, I'm tired. Like, I am tired, okay? I don't have the energy, but I'm going to push through and pump, okay? Before we get into the video, hit the subscribe button right now and give the video a thumbs up. That helps out the content. Let's get started. So this episode opens up with everybody saying their goodbyes and all of that stuff. They hug, they kiss, they cry. The people that are being dumped from the island, they pack up, they leave. Also, sidebar, the lighting, the natural lighting doesn't respect me. So it's going like in and out. The sun is kind of dipping in and out, you know, but we just going to ignore that. Um back to this uh so everybody says their goodbyes now like i said in the last episode i was kind of feeling like dang you know bella didn't really like have a shot um and i felt bad for that uh and then like i said jared as well but cat ended up leaving with him as we know but you know bella was really like taking it hard i feel like and then courtney chats with chad and she says that like she feels like they are not on the same page. Now I feel like I understand because as the episode progressed, he was kind of sort of like wanting to go for anybody and everybody like when the other girl came in and then Phoebe and so on and so forth. But I feel like at, in that moment, I feel like Courtney was just caught up in like being in the bottom um, and she was like saying like, you know, I'm, I'm being myself cause we, you know, she cried and like, she was just like feeling away. Um, and she was like saying like, you know, she being herself and it's like, you never really can tell like who is going to like you, why, what, like, you know, you just, you can't control that, you know, like, so just be who you are and exist. And if you being who you are, get you voted off the villa or in the bottom two times. And it just is what it is. I like Courtney. I don't know, like, what the problem is. I like Courtney. She was saying, like, maybe America is seeing something that she is not seeing. But um, up until that point, I don't feel like Chad was giving, like, sketchy flip-flop vibes. But it's like, out of all the people there, all of the couples y'all probably like y'all are not like the most interesting couple like we love zita and timmy sydney and isaiah like you know what i'm saying so it's like that's probably just what it is also later on in the episode we know like courtney basically gives him an ultimatum she cries like i said zita and the girls comfort her again i just feel like prior to this episode i don't really feel like chad was giving like sketchy flip-flop vibes and again, a vibe can't really be explained to somebody. You just have to kind of feel it. So maybe she felt it. Um, but as far as us being able to see it and pick up the vibe that was being put down, I, I know I did. And I didn't pick up the vibe. She just, she feels like it's me or nothing. And we saw too in this episode that um, Chad and Phoebe chat and they both kind of say that they're interested. Now that was before uh, Courtney gave him like the ultimatum. But I feel like again i'm always torn because i understand that being on this show part of the process is getting to know everybody but i just feel like at what point do you like lock it down so i kind of jumped all around in this first half but um timmy talks to chad well chad talks to timmy and he basically tells timmy that like she gave him the ultimatum and then timmy says like you know you, nobody should be giving ultimatums you should do whatever you want to do and it should be your choice and blah 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 and it's like it is your choice listen when somebody gives you an ultimatum you have a choice it's not like they taking your choices away from you they are in a sense forcing you to make a choice but you always have a choice so if i say to you you know what you can rock with her if you so choose but if you rock with her i'm not rocking with you it's like, what's wrong? I don't see anything wrong with giving somebody an ultimatum. And maybe I'm toxic and crazy. 
I don't know, but I don't see an issue with you getting to a point where you feel like, yo, I'm locked in with you, but you feeling like you want to kick it with other people. So at this point, I need you to make a decision. Either you're with me or you're with other people, period. Because at the point in which I know and I'm willing to commit and make a decision, I'm going to need you to be here with me. Otherwise, we are not on the same page. So we need to separate. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, and then Timmy tried to say later on, like, well, like when it was talking, like, you know, he said something about like making that choice. And it's like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. An ultimatum is kind of forcing you to make your final decision because you either dragging your feet or playing the field or playing both sides or whatever the case may be. I just really don't see anything wrong with somebody giving somebody an ultimatum. Because again, as I said, you always have the choice to either do one thing or do the other but the girls get a text it's time for them to go do girl bonding and then the guys are doing like a barbecue or whatever the case may be um and let me just say at this point i feel like i ho i feel like the producers have to be forcing them to act so excited because when mckenzie came in i was like jesse relax okay not too much not too fucking much okay like calm down he was just, you gorgeous, it's better now that you're here and all that. And it's like, I'm, I would, like, this too much. Surely the producers are forcing them to act this way. Because, like, calm down. Um, but she comes in and I'm like, uh, Harpo, who this woman? Like, who is Mackenzie? And I wish that they, they would have shown, like, some sort of montage or something of her past scenes on whatever season she was on to get more of a backstory of who she is and how she is and so on and so forth but they didn't do that so i still don't really know anything about who this lady is but she's here she's back from what i was able to gather she probably she was on a different season and now she's back i don't know if that's like the norm for like love island but um to me it just seems like they bring her back to like start drama or something she pulls Jeff for a chat. Well, first she pulled Timmy for a chat just because she knows Timmy is off limits. So she basically asked Timmy, like, you know, what's the tea on the boys? And then he said the boys who were locked in were him, Jesse, and Isaiah. He said Jeff was sort of kind of open. So she pulled Jeff for a chat. And Jeff said, like, <laughs> Jeff, he was like, I'm funny. No, I'm funny as fuck. And it's like, <laughs> you better toot your own horn, okay? Toot your, who else gonna toot it for you? Toot your horn, Jeff. Um, but then he was like saying too that like he was interested in her pulling him for another chat because he want Naja low. He want to make Naja jealous, basically. That's what I gather from that. Like he trying to make Naja jealous. Now Jeff, no, he likes Naja. He probably is not even interested in this girl. Yeah, she's attractive, but it's like a lot of people in the world are attractive. So what? Like, that's not all it takes. So I really don't think that he is, like, interested in her like that. But I, I feel like, like he said, he's trying to make Naja jealous because Jeff loves him some Naja, okay? But I thought that was funny that he was being honest about it too. Like, oh, yeah, I want her to, like, pull me for a chat. So I want to see how Naja reacts. And it's like, that's funny. But it's also like, don't be petty. Don't be petty. Grow up, Jeff. Also in this episode, in the beginning though, um, Sydney and, and Isaiah talked and she told him that she w wanted to like bury the hatchet and all of that stuff. She wanted to like start again and all of that. And then when the girls were like on their little bonding situation, she confirmed that they had sex and I knew it. I'm like, I knew they had sex because when they went to the hideaway, it was a position that they was in that was like the only way the only reason you will be in that position is if you're having sex like so i knew they had sex and it's like that now that she has confirmed it annoys me a little bit because it's like you had sex with this girl and you slipped in a i love you at one point and then you still was talking about you wanted to explore other stuff oh no i'd have whooped his ass like no you like i'm i'm not not literally but like don't do that. Zeta says that she has been celibate when it was like doing a little question thing. She said that she had been celibate for a year and a half. So if she was to like have sex in the villa, that would be her like breaking her celibacy for a year and a half. And it's like, yes, listen, I once was celibate for three years. Yes, girl boy, I said it three years, like three whole years. Cause for me, you gotta do a lot to get this cat. 
Okay? Like, you just do. You have to do a lot. I don't just lay low and spread it wide. You got to do a lot. So when Zita said that, it was like, I feel like when you can be disciplined in a certain type of a way, it really does reflect in other areas of your life too. So shout out to that. And Timmy probably going to have to do a whole lot before he gets Zita Cat too, as he should. As everybody should. Like, I mean, unless you, that's just what you want to do, because no judgment, like no, no, no judgment at all. No shame. If that's what you want to do, if you want to lay along, spread it wide, do your thing, pull, be safe. But, you know, if I feel like if you are wanting like serious relationships and stuff, sometimes the, all of that sex and stuff could really like cloud things. And you, you don't fully like take your time to fully get to know somebody and then naturally progress to other things. You know, anyway, I don't got all of topic. Joel and Mackenzie talk as well. And I feel like, I don't know, I don't see that anybody there would kind of like be for Joel. I honestly, maybe Courtney, I feel like maybe Courtney and him could click a little bit, but I don't know. I don't really see, like, even when he was talking to Mackenzie, I didn't really like feel a vibe with them. Um, and then Phoebe either, like, I don't really feel vibes with them. Like, and I haven't seen him and Courtney talk or if they did, I don't remember, but like maybe him and Courtney, but everybody else, I don't really see him like vibing with none of the girls there. That's unfortunate. So, um, Mackenzie texts the girls. Like I said, I feel like they brought her there to like stir up drama, but, um, then she has a chat with Chad and Chad was basically telling her like Courtney was probably not feeling him no more so he was open to doing something with her and it's like I don't know I feel like if you because then Courtney when they came back in the villa I feel like the girls wasn't as warm and welcoming as they usually are to her I don't know if y'all peeped that but I peeped that but um once they came back and chat and Courtney had to chat I feel like Courtney is like yo like I'm tired of this like back and forth stuff and I feel like, I don't know that he really gave him and Courtney a fair shot. Like, I feel like he should have been more locked in with Courtney because it's like, for one, if it wasn't for her even bringing you into the villa, you wouldn't even be there, Playboy. That's first of all, okay? But then two, I feel like, how about you, like, I don't know. I just feel like locking with her, see, what, see how it goes and then may, these these men be so quick to explore other options and on the one hand like i said this is why i get so conflicted with the show because obviously i feel like that's kind of like the premise of the show that's kind of what you're supposed to do but i feel like also too like courtney said it's like either you see what's in front of you or you don't and it's like at, at one point well, not at one point. At a point, you have to see a girl and be like, yo, it really could be something here. Let me focus on this solely. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like Chad didn't really do that. The one time that somebody gave him some play, he was ready to like, be like, oh, yeah, I'm open to explore. Um, And then that was pretty much it for this episode. Um, I don't know how this situation is going to play out with Mackenzie because I feel like for real for real the only person that I really felt like she was vibing with was Chad and Chad and Courtney kind of sort of have a thing maybe but I feel like Courtney getting over it so then that might leave Courtney single and then it's like mm, you know I don't want my sister to get dumped from the island hopefully a new boy comes in this coming episode i like courtney i don't want her to go but anyways that was it for this episode y'all let me know down in the comments what you thought of the episode and everything give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it like i said that really helps the content thumbs the video up hit that subscribe button and i will catch you in the next one bye Woo, give me energy